is the name that will change every situation for you God will do for you the best is yet to come in your life no matter how old you are no matter how many years you have lost beloved today everything will be restored for you God is always in favor of giving you long life my precious people of God I see letters. So what I read as Belinda. What's your name? Wow, wow. I see ministry written all of you. Yet somehow, somehow it's not where it needs to be. Last time when I was in your Thursday, this pastor is really straight away to come and he's telling me prophecy about for the ministry. I have a ministry. That's this is the right thing. He's I'm known at, at the moment I'm doing you know, this ministry about the Sinhala language, but I'm doing that's the right thing. The Holy Spirit is speak to me. Yes. Who is Mike? Is it Mike? Yes, you are coming out of your valley today. Never to go back again. No more. No. Who was Rosie? Thank you for Rosie's life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree right now that you're going to your next level. The Lord tells me now. That's one of those areas you are suffering the most, child. But Jesus tells me now, everything is coming to an end today in Jesus' name. Why did the Lord tell me about 17? What is 17? <clears throat> Would you know? Not really, but I think I've been waiting on the Lord for this long, especially for my son. For your son. It's all changing today. It's all changing today. Who is Emily? Who is Emily? Emily, you are healed today. This is Emily, my God. This is Emily. Thank you, Father. Jesus knows it all. Jesus knows it all. Jesus knows it all. Heal Emily, God. Thank you for healing Emily. Tell even your husband not to worry about his heart. Tell your husband also not to worry about his heart. For the Lord says, My grace has brought strength in your infirmity. I have touched you today. Even your husband's heart has been touched. Now in Jesus' name, done for the glory of God. Yes. You remember I told you something about shadows. You can wait, right? I told you about shadows, two shadows. That shadows, shadows. And now it makes sense to me. Because shadows are people who are missing. The real person is not there. And the Lord was talking about people who are missing in the link. That's what it meant. So that's where God is going to correct it. Even if the signatures have been made and the papers are filed or whatever it is, God's going to make the shadow a substance in your family. This Obadiah, Obadiah gave you a gift. Is that right? Okay. Are you together? Yes. Getting married. This marriage, which is connected to the name Obadiah, which you have mentioned now. How beautifully God works. Have no doubt, this is God's will. You are going to be a financial asset to many poor people in your ministry. I see limousines. I see riches and wealth and honor. I see it. You will have those in your garage. You will have your own house. I see you're going to start something in your home. A business venture that's coming out of your home. 
Pastor. Yes, Kusha. Thank you, he Lord. He says that he has already started his business from home. You have already started your business from home. A prophet of God speaks to you now in Jesus' name. It has already done, been started. It will be a success, my friend. It will be a success, my friend. You're rewarded. You have done what you needed to do when the home was empty. He says, you have a gift to teach. You have a gift to teach. And the Lord's going to take you to even starting up your own Montessori here. Starting up your own little thing. Yeah, my mom was going through the ranks and looking to do foster care. So she could impart and do again the amazing job that she did with my brother and I. So this is very amazing. I agree, it's only recently she started um, thinking and going into fostering uh, children. Yeah. And yeah. Prosper this family. Take them, Lord, to the next level of prosperity, I pray. I prophesy. He has a scientific mind, this little boy. Okay, scientific mind. T tell us, Dale. My son, uh, Ruel, we always talk about scientists. You want to become a scientist one day. Yes. Um, God has proved through faster. He's going to become a scientist. Yes. Glorify God's name. Hallelujah. That's exactly what's going to happen. daughter had something called molluscum. It's kind of like a boils the back of her body and she had it for nearly few, two years nearly. For three days, three or four days, I checked but I couldn't believe it. It was like burned with the fire. It must be the Holy Spirit touched the wound. Father, I ask tonight that you would complete the work. We give thanks in advance for healing on the knees and every ankle bone right now. In the name of Jesus, receive your miracle. I see counseling young couples. Yes. I see the Lord taking you in a short while outside of London. I see you connected to a ministry in the United States. I see you being connected to ministries in the States. And I see you being a blessing to the community of the church here, but in the area of counseling, 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 counseling young couples. God is calling you to that. You already have that gift. For I see some of the books that you have in your home. I'm seeing some of the books. And most of them are borderlining on red letters on, on wisdom, on wisdom, on wisdom, on wisdom. Most of them are in the corporate sector. But much of them is also biblical. So in the name of Jesus, I call you forth into your calling. And your calling is nothing but counsel. your internal health will not deteriorate. Many were worried about him, but suddenly things happen to you. Internal organs, from your throat to your intestines. I speak life, I speak life. You want to tell me something about it? Give her the mic, give her the mic. I do have problems with reflux. Yeah, exactly what I'm saying, right? Yes. Many were concerned about him. He's, yes, many were concerned about him. But now, they are, it's switched to you. You will not die, but you will live in the mighty name of Jesus. I spoke to prostrates today. That's you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I command every malfunction from your throat to your intestines to let you go. I command the reversal of this now in the name of Jesus. Now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth right now. Lord heal. 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 Heal in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal 
healed in the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Healed in the mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. The mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth right now. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, running to every bone, when cell marrow tissue, ligaments in your body. Thank you, Lord. I release your virtue, Lord. I release your virtue right now over your daughter. In the name of Jesus. Every trauma, every condition with your skull, your head, every condition in your level of domina. Healed in Jesus' name. Healed in Jesus' name. Healed in Jesus' mighty name. This precious lady came with a pain in her wrist and she says the pain is gone right now. I tell you, this is, these are just the beginning of greater things. Just the beginning of greater things. Thank you, Father, for your touch on her life. For how long have you had this? Quite a while. You can move that wrist. You can move it now. It's all gone. In the mighty name of Jesus, heal. A kid in this place. A kid to whom the Lord is going to open doors from today. In the name of Jesus, every blood condition, every, every paralysis right now, every paralytic spirit in the name of Jesus, I rebuke it in your body. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If the name Tim makes any sense to you, who is that? The Lord told me day before yesterday, you had gone, you had gone. This girl came forward and the Lord gave me a name. She he just told me, ask her what Tim means to her. That's what the Lord said. So I, I, you remember I was holding your hand. I was wondering whether to ask or not. Sometimes the Lord tells me funny stuff that causes me to shiver sometimes. So I asked you, what does Tim mean to you? And you said about this connection. And this is what the Lord said. Everything concerning Tim, the Lord has already looked after. You don't have to worry. Your husband doesn't have to worry. Nothing, no failure will ever keep God's plan from working for him. I see failures in his, uh, in his universities, in his studies, in many areas. I see a lot of failures, discouragement. I see a lot of things not being completed, a lot of things starting, not finishing, discouragement, depression setting in, things that he gets into, even relationships have begun to fail and he's, he's angry with everyone. But today, I lay my hands and I make you free in the name of Jesus. She says today during the service, she feels Jesus touch her and there came a sense of peace and she feels she's completely healed of her depression. So she wants to give glory to God. After how many years? 10 years. After 10 years. Precious brother had a pain in the ankle after the injury for six months, it was there. When, she came, when he came here, it was there. He didn't take much notice of it, but it was there. He says now the pain has left him while the service was on. Give all glory to God. I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you. Hallelujah. Father, I bless her in the name of Jesus. Something, I am humble, I'm humble. I, I feel very little in these times. Because, my sister, this is not an accident, you are healed. So come, come. You felt the message was for you, I'm sure. I'm suffering with this abdominal pain for 30 years, she's saying. You have that pain even now, mommy? Slightly. You would know when the Lord touches you, that pain will leave. And the pain. Would you lift your hands to the Lord? Lift your hands to the Lord.
severe ankle pain. Come forward, please. She had had this for about three months, really severe pain. But as she walked in here, as we were praying, the pain has left. Thank you, Lord. Fire, fire of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this healing. Pastor, this dear sister had a condition with the muscles for three and a half years. She tells today is the longest she has been standing, and she uh, her pain in the foot is still there a bit, but she could stand like this for so long. And she wants to give glory to God. After three and a half years, sister, can you come? I want you to exercise your faith tonight. I want you to exercise your faith by walking around, lifting your feet, do what you couldn't do, and just keep thanking the Lord. It has left you today. It has left you today. I call you free after three and a half years. In Jesus' name, Amen. Come to an end for your glory. Come to an end for your glory. Receive your break miracle. every chain. Receive your miracle. Break Receive your chain. miracle. Receive your miracle. My virtue of what you have sown in this place to your church. Judges of the Spirit.